It's kind of big news. At least for me. I don't know about them. So you guys, baby number five. The green light is, it's there. Don't come for like a few months. Too. Yeah. You guys see? If you do, I'll, I'll, it'll be fine. So uh, can we just appreciate Kara with her new <laughs> glasses? This is really cool because I've never needed contacts or glasses. I have really good vision, but these are the best thing like that I have ever found. They are great for self care. They're blue light glasses. And if you haven't heard of that, so like screens put off blue light. Well, even the sun, like a lot of things put off blue light, but we're always staring at TV screens, iPads, computers, our phones and especially with Derek and I like all of our work is done on a screen and these glasses help to block out the blue light and what's bad about blue light is that it can strain your eyes it can cause headaches even makes it harder to sleep it can decrease your melatonin production by 50% when you're watching or looking at screens at night it really is like such a good thing to block that out especially at nighttime when you're watching TV or on your phone and you'll be able to fall asleep faster it's like amazing I got these from iBuyDirect. Thank you for sponsoring this video. I have actually heard of iBuyDirect for years because you all know my best friend, Ashley Ahern. She gets all of her cute glasses from iBuyDirect and she's always told me like they have the cutest and most affordable glasses, but I didn't know I needed them until now. These are the four that I have and this is probably my favorite pair right now. These ones are Nomad and they are really cute. They just have this like thin little frame and then the tortoise shell. I love the those. These are Dulce and these ones are really cute too. Really cute little frame. I like the pink color. Goes with my outfit. These are my favorite that Kara has. What ones are those? These are intense and I intense. love the black and gold. Derek was trying to wear them but he needs to get his own because they were too small for his face. I still wear them. <laughs> <laughs> oh another really cool thing. You can order whatever glasses you want to try and you have a 14 day return and exchange policy. So if you don't absolutely love them, you're able to return or exchange them for another pair. And this last pair, red and silver and these are called Cat. Oh, you look like a school teacher. It's fun. I can like dress up and be whatever kind of mom I want to be that day. You can same change time. your look and protect your eyes at the same time. Gemma was so excited. She keeps on wanting to wear my glasses. So I got out <laughs> her little fakies. <laughs> so these ones are most definitely too small for my face, but I need these more than anybody because I them? sit in front of a screen like all day long. As you know, we've partnered with iBuyDirect to bring you this video and we have a 25% off code for you. It is Chatwin25. Also, I'm going to put the link in the description and I will list each style. So if there's a specific one that you wanna find, it'll be an easy click in our bio. Now is a great time for some self-care. So take care of your eyes with me and get yourself some blue light glasses. Pablito, is that you? Look at this little mustache. It's a chocolate mustache. Well, I was so happy. Hey, good morning, pumpkin. Good morning. Good morning to you too. You're Pablito also. We say Pablito because we just watched Narcos. <laughs> and Pablo Escobar has a mustache. So whenever they have a mustache, we call them Pablito Escobar. It's a chocolate stash, mom. Do you have a chocolate stash too? Uh-oh, the babies threw their pancakes, Gemma. Mom made chocolate chip pancakes today. How are they? They're really sweet. Like, I don't think Ren likes them because they're so sweet. Okay, have you ever thought about having a cup of cheer in the morning? Yeah. Okay, just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. These are good. Mm, exquisite. Sweet. I love them. I want at least seven, six, nine, ten more. Ren doesn't like these. Too sweet for her? Yum. What? Mm, yum, yum, yum. I like them. I like them too, Gemma. High five. <laughs> Learn your lesson, girl. You cannot put your fingers in their mouths. They're like sharks. Royal, do you like it? Well, he, very, she really wants that. I'm gonna go eat more of these. Are you gonna sing us a morning song? This not work. Not working? <laughs> yes. 
na 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 go in open in the dino Did it hurt? Uh-huh. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. <laughs> That's funny. Good morning, sweet pea. Come on. Oh, sweet girl. Yeah, you're so cute. Her little tongue. The cute puppy. What needest thou? Are you guys hungry? Do you just want Pia? Say hi to Pia. You can say hi to Pia. And you can say hi to Pia. Mwah. Oh, you want to kiss her? You can say hi to Pia. <laughs> do you want your water? I can do this all day, Royal. I have plenty of time. <laughs> I know, Reese. What is he doing? Uh oh. Reese, do you tell Royal no, no, no? You are so special. Special, Gemma? I am. You know? Try and move them. Oh, Dad, there. no, do that. <gasps> Look! Look at what you did. Hey, uh -huh. she's ready. Let me see, Gemma. Oh my goodness, Gemma, that's so crazy cute. Okay. Yeah, you can go play in the bounce house. Her. Have fun, Elsa. We'll see you soon, okay? Bye, Elsa. Bye. Bye, Ice Queen. Oh, here comes your prince. Go get your queen. It's another one. <laughs> go get your queen, Reese. Reese? One packet before bed. And then it's night night. Just got bathed. Super clean. It's a remote battle between the sisters. They both want it. There's only one. Will they share it or will they grab it? Uh -oh. I see. Grabbing. Hey. Oh, don't take it out on Gemma. Gemma, here, I got you. Did you take a shower? Look at that hand print. There's a perfect hand on her cheek. Gemma, come look at this. Look From at when Reese's they were fighting face, for the Gemma. remote, I don't even know this happened. Look what happened to Reese's face. Reese has a perfect hand print from Ren. Look at the other side of her face. Look at that. Where? Look on at her the cheek. Hand print on it's her like, cheek. that's so sad, Kara. I want you to ruin it. I know. Let go, oh. let go. It's so cute and curly. <laughs> Hi, baby. You're a baby? Oh, yeah, mommy. it's so curly. Underneath here gets so short. Like, look at that ringlet. I think it's bedtime. Yeah, bedtime. Oh, Reese. Welcome. Oh, hey there, sister. Don't call me sister on this topic. <laughs> What's up, chat fam? What? You look good with your hair up. Oh my god. She doesn't actually have her hair up that often. Yeah, it's up because. Uh, babies and it was so hot today. Today was very hot. I have baby food on my shirt. I think it was Reese. Are you on your knees? <laughs> I literally can't handle it. Every time we sit here and film, she's always go. taller than me and I'm like, why are you so high? It's comfortable for me to sit on my knees, okay? I cannot sit on my knees. First of all, Kara always wanted a family of how many kids? Four. Four kids. I come from a family of four. Me, my twin, my two sisters that are older than me and Dylan. And so I always thought four is a great number. I thought that's a lot. I always thought we were gonna have four kids. And you as well, right? Mm -hmm. Like when we got married and we talked about how many kids we we're gonna have, we said four kids. You three, said three, maybe four. You said three, maybe four. And I four. would say like, yeah, we'll have three, see how it goes. But I already knew I wanted four. Out, four out in of the picture. Less than two years. Yeah, two tribes, four kids. When she was pregnant with the triplets and everything, I thought like, yeah, we're done. I don't know if you can handle this. Even when I was pregnant with them, I know it didn't feel like I was done. Yeah, if it's up to you, she could have like 20 kids. Probably. The number one question that we get asked, number one. Anytime I do a Q&A, like on Instagram, I do the Q&A box, number one question. Are you guys having more babies? Do you guys want more kids? And what do you always tell them? I see say not right now but yeah she always says yeah we'll see how it goes but i always feel like when my babies get a little older i'm gonna miss the baby stage and i'm gonna want to have a little <laughs> baby again 
Kara was bred for this. If you've been watching the vlogs a lot, you know that she was a nanny, so she really loves kids. Since the triplets, we've been very careful. Protection to the max. We are not getting pregnant again, because it's been wild. You know, we've always had this talk, are we gonna try again? Like, Kara wants another one. She feels like Royal needs a brother. Yeah, I really wanna have another boy for Royal, and just because he's like, so sweet. I want another boy. Gemma wants me to have another boy. I even asked her today, do you want me to have more babies? And she said, yeah, uh, a big baby like Roro. Roro <laughs> is a big baby. When I gave him a bath tonight, I told Kara, when I was washing Reese, her head with the shampoo, I'm so soft and delicate around her neck because I feel like I hurt her neck because she seems so like dainty and delicate. <laughs> when Royal's in there, his neck is a tree stump. <laughs> it really is. Like rough it up. He doesn't she does move. It move. He's a tough boy and he's just so sweet. But I want another boy so that he can have a brother. We need more boys in this house. Tell him your dream you had. I had a dream. Like two nights ago. Kara was pregnant and she was giving birth to a girl. Really weird because I keep feeling like the next one will be a girl. I don't know why. I'm used to it by now. I feel like what's another girl? I feel like we're just a girl family. I Aside know, from... but another girl? We'd have four girls and one boy. I'm on her <laughs> side. Royal. If we have one more, it would be nice if it was a boy so Royal had like a brother. Just because I think of me and my twin. Dylan and I are so close. We do everything together and I love my sisters to death. You know, I can relate with my brother so much more because he's my brother. He's my bro. Yeah. I think I want Royal to have that relationship. We were talking about when are we gonna get pregnant again? And Kara, for the past two pregnancies, she had to use Lechazole. Yeah, I use Lechazole because I have PCOS and we tried to get pregnant, if you're new here and don't know the story. We tried to get pregnant for a year the first time. Finally, I went to the fertility specialist and they prescribed me Lechazole. I took one round over Valentine's Day, got pregnant my first round, then we had Gemma. When we were ready to start trying after Gemma turned one, we wanted to try again to have our next baby. Tried for four months again and we weren't getting pregnant so i was like i'll just go back in and see if they think i should take that pill again did it again got pregnant with triplets from one round of letrozole it's a point seven percent chance or something like that it's crazy to less than one percent yeah less than one percent chance and so i'm really scared to take letrozole again except for the next baby i just like don't want to have to have help or they need to monitor me a lot closer because they told me that there was one mature egg and obviously there were three and they all got fertilized and they all implanted and they all turned into babies With, and they're very different people crazy because there's like a 20 percent chance of getting pregnant when you drop an egg there's a 20 percent chance of of that egg turning into a baby. So how did three of mine all get that 20% chance at the exact same time? Only, it's crazy. Only God knows. Don't want to have multiples again. That was a really rough pregnancy and really hard. I really want to just have one and I really want to just try to get pregnant on our own. I am using some essential oils that it's called Progestins Plus if anyone is into that, but it's from Young Living and it has wild yam extract so it's a progesterone an all natural progesterone that i put on twice a day and that's supposed to also help just like level everything out it's great for just like helping your cycle and just getting everything balanced in my life so kara said when are we can have another baby and we said since we're in no rush right now yeah at least i'm not no i'm not either no way we're gonna cut off the protection it's a kind of big news at least for me I don't know about them. Listen, <laughs> don't know why, only God knows, but we have four just angels. Like I can't even, I'm just so in love with our kids and I'm so grateful for like the life they've given us. Come on, we gotta bring some more of these people down. I would say we're not like actively trying. Today is the day, let's make a baby, but we're not gonna be like preventing. Go with the wind. It's actually pretty safe to say that baby number five, better not be a five, six, seven. Baby number five, <laughs> is on the way. It's not on the way. She's not pregnant. They understand. Baby five now has a green light. Baby to five down. is a thought. It has a green light. So with Gemma, we wanted to get pregnant when she was one year or like around one year. We wanted to start trying so that they'd be two years apart. The triplets, when they turned one, I was like, oh, well, no, I'm not. I'm not having another baby right now because we have three one-year-olds. Now they're a year and a half next week. Once Gemma hit three, she was a lot easier, just like communication-wise and helper. Any age gap is gonna be the right age gap because it's gonna be what it is. People don't know this, but I have two older sisters and there's a nine year, almost 10 age gap mm -hmm. between her and Dylan and I. Mom and dad, that's an accident. You were not an accident. We were too, baby. No, you weren't. How do you know? 
I've talked to your mom. No, she said that they tried to get pregnant for a long time and they weren't, they just didn't get pregnant. And then they finally got pregnant with you guys. Okay, you fine. weren't an accident. I wasn't an accident. <laughs> Mom, I love you. Eric, you're not an accident. <laughs> I just feel like that big of a gap. Come on, just admit it. We were okay. an accident. Your mom said they tried for a couple, like for a long time, and like they just didn't know why that they weren't okay, getting fine. pregnant. Maybe we weren't accidents. <laughs> we were meant to be here. Dylan, I love you too. Let's go hang out tonight. I mean, online, online tonight. So you guys, baby number five. The green light is it's there. It can now come at its own time. Don't come for like. Few months. Yeah. You guys see, if you do, I'll, I'll, it'll be fine. So, as most of you know, my twin brother and Delia, like they're trying and still have not been successful in becoming pregnant, but I just know I'm gonna put the feeler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choke up and cry. I'm gonna put the feelers out there. Everyone, say a special prayer for my twin brother and Delia. I just know that out of anyone out in this world, they'll be like the most amazing parents. They really will be so amazing. The way that they treat our kids, I just know that like they have so much love in them and I don't think there's a couple out there that would be better parents than Dylan and Delia to a child. So I just know that they're trying. More than anything, I just hope and pray that they get pregnant. I wanna see my brother as a dad and I know it's gonna happen. I just really hope it happens soon. On that note, I'll pray for them. We also have friends. They are looking to adopt and they too are like the absolute like sweetest couple. They've been trying for years. They've done a few rounds of IVF. They just want their baby so bad and that they're looking to adopt. So if you or anyone you know are pregnant and you're looking for adopted open parents, adoption. Sarah okay. and Brady Ward. Scoot over, they're gonna join us. <laughs> they're right here. You can check Amazing out their couple. Instagrams and get in contact with them if that is something that you are looking into or know someone that is. So many couples out there that just would be such good parents and for whatever reason, no one knows. So many of you guys watching are in the same boat. It's just so hard because- It's heartbreaking. Like It really is. When we were just time, trying for like one year to get pregnant with Gemma, I would cry like every month. I just thought you have to try for one year. That's what online says. But yeah. I would like just cry every single month because I'm like, why doesn't God want me to be a mom? Yeah, well, after a year, you feel like, oh, it's not gonna yeah, happen. You just, you like just naturally feel happening. that way. But there's people watching right now that have been trying for way over a year. And I didn't know that like, I had no idea about like infertility or like fertility clinics or like what kind of help you can get. So you just kind of feel like at a loss. But then if I could see like in two years, in a short two years, I'd have Four children. You wouldn't have hope. shed a single tear if you would have known that. So you guys, there could be something amazing gonna happen in your life. Stay positive. Hopefully we're emitting some positivity your way. Keep trying, you guys. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. So is it Pia or Gemma? It's Pia. Baby number five could be coming soon. Yeah. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe. Goal to hit 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. And with your help, we're gonna do it. So hit the subscribe button hit the bell so that your notifications are on. Share us with get, some friends. Yeah, share with some friends. Let's get to one million. Because we're all part of the chat fam. Chat fam. Gemma oh, always sure. talks about the chat fam now. It's so funny. I have like a pretend camera or something and she'll always be like, hey chat fam, hey, chat bye fam. chat fam. Or whenever I so have my funny. camera on her, she says, chat fam. <laughs> I was gonna say, I just got a box of these shirts. So this is one of the chat fam shirts. This one is so soft, so comfy. I like to wear his. It really is so soft. But if you guys shirt, wanted to get this so one and didn't get it, it's only 19 bucks. If you go to the chatwins.com, they're on there now. Go support the fam. You guys are a part of it. They are the chat fam. You guys are the chat fam. <laughs> We're all the chat fam. My shout out goes to Cashew and Cash. They are sisters and part of the chat fam. So thank you. We love you and I love we appreciate those names. you. My shout out goes to Jamaica. Barassi Lenio. Thank you for being a part of the chat fam, Jamaica. We love you. Hope you guys have a, a great night. Until next time. XO, XO. <laughs> love you guys. Good night.